Hey, what's up, guys? It's a bit windy outside, so I got the garage door closed. So if there's a lot of you know background noise, apologize. But uh, it's time for another weekly video, and today's a pretty cool day. I'm pretty excited. Um, we are going to tune the car today. Uh, so basically, what we're going to do is we are going to start with our iPhone 7, and I have downloaded the new Cobb software. It's an app that you can just plug your your phone into the USB cable into your car and then you can tune right from your phone. No. <laughs> Alright, so I have an access port on the way. Uh, it's supposed to be delivered today, waiting on the UPS guy to, to get here and then uh, we're going to jump into the car, we're going to tune it and we're going to go for a little drive and see what this, uh, this you know, it's, it's an OTS map, uh, it's whatever's going to come on the access port itself. Um, and then, you know, the plans for the car, we're going to do intake and uh, exhaust at some point, stuff like that. Uh, in the future, probably going to do the, the, the spark plugs. Um, a bit confused on what to go, what, what to buy for, for spark plugs. Uh, still researching that. Maybe you guys can, you know, comment down below and uh, let me know. And I'm still up in the air as far as exhaust. The MBRP sounds good. It's really good for the money. Um, but there's, there's a lot of options out there, you know. And the advantage of the MVRP is it does sound good and it doesn't cost a lot. Whereas some of the others cost, you know, twice as much. And I, I'm not so sure that, you know, the, the sound quality is going to be worth, the, the, you know, the double price of what the MVRP can offer. Um, the only thing I've got to go off of is, you know, YouTube videos. So, if any of you guys have heard multiple systems in person, please let me know down below because I'm, I'm kind of in that market right now where I kind of want to do something and I'm kind of unsure. So, we'll make this a little bit interactive and just let me know. But, uh, once the UPS guy gets here, we're going to jump in the vehicle, we're going to tune it, and then we're going to go for a little test drive. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back. UPS uh, just dropped it off. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully there's enough light in here. Alright, so... I'm going to plug this into the USB, which is under here, this little pull, pull down. Secure. All right, so it's loading up. Got a picture of an RS on there. We're going to click OK to install. I hear they're calling it a 2017 RS. Hopefully, uh, it'll be all right. to the stage 193 octane.
and it's begun. So hopefully this won't take very long. I don't think it does. All right, we are now at 100 percent. All right, that's it. So then you have access to all your different things. Different tunes, troubleshooting check engine codes, uh, performance, and your different gauges and stuff like that that you'd like to monitor. All things that you guys are already familiar with the access port. So that pretty much wraps it up for the installation. Now the only thing we have left to do is to take this bad boy on the road and test it out. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're back in the car. Uh, since we've tuned it and we're gonna take it on a little spin and give you my thoughts and first impressions Well I kind of cheated they're not really my first impressions. so I've been driving around with a tune for uh, about a week and a half now so Anyway, I'm sorry You weren't able to see my smile whenever I first got into the car and drove it, but you know, it, it was a pretty cool upgrade. Um, Access Port makes a, a great product. And I was kind of back and forth between if I wanted to go the SET route or the Access Port. But I got a good deal on an Access Port and I had Cobb reflash it. So, it, you know, I, I sent it off to them and then they got it back to me promptly. Um, and then, you know, install was, was too easy like we just saw. So... In the car, put it in sport mode. In the car, what it feels like, even when you're in normal, uh, it's got more torque. You know, it, it's it's a lot more lively on its feet. You know, especially when you put it like into, into sport or track or whatever. But you definitely feel uh, it, it's it's more eager to go. It's, it's more lively on its feet. As far as horsepower, you know, it adds a little bit. And I, I don't take this thing out and, and go as fast as I can where horsepower matters, you know, all up top. But as far as just driving around aggressively on the street and stuff, it's great. Uh, it's definitely a, 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 an improvement. Throttle response has been amped up uh, quite a bit too. You know, it feels like it's a normal, feels kind of like sport did. So whenever you put it in a sport mode, it's, it's fantastic. Have no issues with, with drivability. You know, it's just, it's, it's a little bitty baby tune. Um, <laughs> some pops there. But now I'm behind a slow poke, so I'm not going to be able to do anything crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a tune. It you should go buy one if you do, if you don't have a tune in the car you know go get one now i know there's going to be a lot of you know talk about like well you know this company's better than that you know and yes there are better tunes than just a regular you know off the shelf tune or whatever they call you know the, the regular map that's in in the uh cob access board you know but uh I'll look into something like that in the future. You know, I'd be interested in, in dynoing, dynoing the car maybe at the same time. But for just, you know, right now, just loading the thing up, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results. So, man, I wish these cars would get out of my way. It's like a 45 and we're doing like, you know, 10 miles an hour. I hate that. But, anyway. Okay, now he's going to turn. Yep, get on my way. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's a lot more lively on his feet. So much so that I've got a buddy, and I hope he doesn't watch this, and I'm sure that he will, and he's going to hate on it, but I don't care. He's got a uh, 2015 Mustang, he just put exhaust on it, Portland tax. Like, uh, and, and you know, he went off of my old videos, you know, recommendations on what he should have bought. You know, he was up and back and forth between the, you know, Corsa Extreme and the Borla Attack. And uh, 
I voted for the Moral Attack because that's my personal favorite. And he finally got it in. We put it on his Mustang and he loves it. But as far as this thing compared to his car, oof. I'm going to tell you, they're head-to-head. -head. Um, I don't know what it, you know what it would look like from a roll, but you know th these things dig down deep. <laughs> these RSs are a lot of fun. So... That, uh, that pretty much wraps it up, I think. It's just a short little sweet video. You know, it's, it's just a little basic tune. And um, we're going to be putting some st other stuff together on the car very, very soon. So I want you to, to stay tuned to the channel. And, um, yeah, leave your, your thoughts and uh, comments down below. And uh, maybe, maybe uh, comment, you know, give me some ideas what you would like to see on the car. Because maybe it's something I'm thinking about. Uh, there's a couple of things that I'd like to do to it, but I'm kind of like up in the air, you know, as far as like exhaust and stuff like that. Um, and there's some, some cool stuff from your little CNC shop uh, that, that, you know, they're, they're sending me some new products and stuff like that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, that Those videos should be up shortly as soon as I get that stuff in and I can install. So... Yeah, I, I do appreciate everybody's support, and I think it's really cool, you know, when I get comments like, hey, man, I need my fix, you know, upload a video. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I don't have a lot of subscribers yet, but we are growing.